What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Maverick Do Hunting, Fishing, Camping, Everything Outdoors. Today I find myself in the middle of Ontario on Lake of the Woods. So it's about 11 in the afternoon and it's about lunchtime. Um, and today I'm going to attempt to cook a steak on a rock. So those of you that are new to the channel, I like to uh, cook things out of the back of my truck, cook camping meals, um, and do all sorts of random stuff with food. So the first step to cooking a steak on a rock is to find a rock that's suitable for cooking on. Um, we're going to look for a thin flat rock that we can put over fire and hopefully that's easy to come by i don't know we're we're beached up right now we're on the, we're on the middle of an island um we've been musky fishing all day so let's uh let's go find a rock and get, get cooking you got there buddy this will, will work maybe yeah this one this one this one's a little thicker thin. this one's this one's the best i think yeah yep that's pretty good i mean two of those this one the same size. Oh, yeah. All right, folks. So here's the plan. We have Adam's flat rock that he found. It's nice and thin. It's probably only like yeah, it's about a it's about an inch thick. And then we just dug out like a little little hole in the sand here. We tried to pull out most of the roots. There's still a couple in there, but they're pretty wet for the most part. So all this stuff you're seeing around here is very wet from being in the water, but we're, we are gonna put some sand around it. We got two little brick rocks right here, kind of holding this up, and we're gonna build a fire underneath here. So Adam's getting some kindling ready over there and some bigger sticks. And then we might need to find like a couple like bigger stick slash log things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the bottom, hopefully heats up the rock enough, and then we can cook our steak lakeside. Plastics. Oh, yeah. All right, folks, that steak has been on there for not super long. Oh, my fire keeps going out. There we go. Steak hasn't been on there for super long, but it's getting cooked on the one side, I think. So we're going to give her a flip. Oh, my. We're actually going to flip it the other way, too, just so it... Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks so good, dude. That's awesome. That one feels pretty done. This side's definitely done. This side feels a little more tender, but you know, maybe we got some more medium rare action in there and then we got a second one on there. Adam's working on getting some potatoes done, but we're gonna, I think we're gonna dig into this one really quick just to kind of have a little, little sample of what we got going on here. But look, look at that crust that's on it. Nice and juicy. Look at that. Looks so good. All right. Oh, oh all that? You not want all that? Are you sure? 
Uh, I'm not let's, sure. Let's start with half. Okay. Boop. That's a little more than half, but there you go. Get some grease on the bottom so they don't stick. Get it coated a little bit. Wow, it's the only downside to doing this is you're right on the flame. <laughs> so it's really hot. I'm not sure how we're gonna grab that when we're done, but. That's the best steak I've ever cooked over a fire. It's also the only steak I've ever cooked over a fire. Dude, that's so good, Adam. Here. That's the guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> yeah, wow. Right? Like, this was cooked on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> right? We did a good job of not getting any sand in there, too. At least mine didn't have any grains or whatever. Yeah, mine's pretty good. These pieces that we just ate off of, those were like the kind of more tender side, so that was probably more like a, I'd say like a medium, maybe even like a medium well. Mm -hmm. um, we probably let that one sit a little too long. We should probably pull this one off sooner, like almost now-ish. The problem out here is that we're running out of room, so I think we might just have to eat some of this and then we'll take off the other steak, which I got no problem doing. All right, so the steak's super good. The potatoes are just getting finished up, and while Adam's finishing up those potatoes, I guess kind of just let you guys know like what's up with this trip. Why am I in Canada right now? What are we doing? So Adam and I have been like childhood best friends since I was probably like a year old. We we like try to go on fishing trips together, and we're usually pretty busy. Both of us are usually pretty busy. So right now we're in the middle of Ontario on Lake of the Woods, um, doing some musky fishing. Lake of the Woods is like the best place to be doing some musky fishing. Um, the last three days have been super slow for us, but. It's always just great being out here and being able to uh, enjoy the outdoors like this. I mean, there's not a lot of places that you can go up and, you know, kind of just have free range at, you know, doing a little little cookout on an island. It's good to be able to see my buddy, but it's also good to be outside and able to, able to do this stuff. And the place that we're standing at is called Tamarack Island Lodge. Um, super cool place. It's like eight miles out in the middle of Lake of the Woods. And uh, some of the best musky fishing spots in the lake are like in a mile of this camp so if you guys are trying to book a trip or trying to do some musky fishing this is definitely a place to go to try to catch your first musky so as i was saying adam has his own youtube channel and he's going to be uploading like kind of more documentary style of our trips um, including this one so if you want to check him out his channel will also be linked below patiently waiting on some potatoes to be done and then uh we'll let you know how the final how the final meal tastes here That'll work. No, they taste good. They taste like they're just soaked in butter. <laughs> Everything soaked in butter is good, including garlic. Oh, rip. Man down. Oh, another man down. Okay. Dude. All right, fresh roasted garlic, steak, and potato nice you gotta get everything kind of all in one bite here so we got like a little grizzly piece of steak potato buddy do the garlic that's all i'm gonna say yeah they're good those are really good good job Woo! okay yeah you gotta try the garlic how so like what you do is you grab it, you just, like, so I just took that one out, so you just squeeze, like, from the bottom, just squeeze that out, like, push it with your fingers. I can't really do it with one hand. Yeah, yeah like that. Then you, no, yeah, you want that on a piece of potato? Oh, 
Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> How good is that? Good call. Like that's not, that's not even too big. That's not no. even too big of a piece. You could eat that whole thing. You got it. All right. Well, there's more garlic. There's more garlic in here, dude. I'm not oh. even worried. Oh, oh that's okay. Well, we can save that. All right, guys. So we just cooked that whole meal, pretty much on that. Well, we cooked the steak on this rock. We cooked the potatoes in that pan, but we cooked freaking steak on a rock. I mean. What, how, how much better can it get? So I hope every one of you guys that's watching this right now is having a good summer. Um, if you're not, try to do some more stuff outside. Like, honestly, you can cook a meal outside, hang out with your buddies, go fishing, um, go to the park, go for a swim, whatever. Whatever it is that makes you happy, get outside and do it. Um, if you guys like this episode or you like episodes like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always open for new ideas, um, new things to cook, new things to do outside. If you'd be so kind to go down below, give this video a like if you liked it. Hit that notification bell and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Mean the world to me. But until next time, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.